One of the biggest projects we're working on now on the homestead is our tree farm. Why a tree farm? Because trees don't poop. We've done chickens, we've done rabbits, and we're considering goats and sheep. And one of the problems with livestock is, as you know, it's messy, it's smelly, and you gotta clean it up. Well, we discovered a couple of years ago, trees don't poop. So why not have a tree farm? It's a self-propagating business. You do a lot of work up front in the beginning, and then it kind of takes care of itself with minimal maintenance. So, honey, come a little closer so we can give them a close-up of some of the things we've got going on here. Some of the trees we're growing from nuts or seed. This is a hickory tree. It came out of its uh, came from a hickory nut last year. It's in its second year of growth. This is a peach tree that came from the actual pit. It's from our small peach orchard. It uh, the pit fell to the well. The peach fell to the ground um, over the winter. It stratified and then it started growing a new tree. So we've transferred this to a pot. We'll take seedlings or saplings when we find them. We got this red cedar last year when it was about this tall, potted it up. And then some trees were growing from cuttings. This is a weeping willow tree we took from a cutting from our own willow tree, rooted it in water, stuck it in a pot. Now, um, the, the big deal with getting these small trees in pots early is so you can contain and control the root system. Sure, they're small and, and they're not really gonna be marketable for a few years when they're about three or four feet tall, but by the time these trees are three or four feet tall, the root systems are gonna be uncontrollable and if you dig them up at that time and pot them up, you run the risk of killing the tree. Now, the tree in which you have got to control the root system the most early on is the oak tree. Honey, come close again. I'm getting ready to pot this. This is a white oak tree. Actually, this is a red oak tree. The way to tell the difference, white oak's leaves are rounded, red oak's are sharp. I remember it as sharp like a spear. If it stabs you, you bleed, the blood is red, so this is a red oak, okay? Now, look at this taproot. We took about 2,000 acorns last fall. We went hiking in the forest, brought out about 2,000 acorns and just buried them about an inch under the soil. And now this spring we have almost 2,000, I think they're all sprouting, oak trees coming up. But look how long that taproot is. Once the, the acorn starts sprouting, it looks like you've got two little leaves up here, but that taproot is already off to the races. So once they're only about four or five inches tall, you've got to get these potted up or you'll never be able to control that taproot. And once that oak tree is about two years old, it's so difficult to dig it up and pot it without killing it. So. This brought about our need for thousands of pots. Well, patience prevailed and we just bought 2,500 planting pots on Craigslist for $20. That's eight tenths of one penny each. Now what does 2,500 pots look like? Well, we're gonna show you. So I found this wonderful, wonderful guy named Caleb on Craigslist and we communicated for a couple days about getting his pots. And I finally went out to get them yesterday evening. And uh, Caleb and his wife had recently bought a greenhouse, a collapsible greenhouse, and they didn't need all these pots. So they wanted to discard of them in a responsible way. Uh, but before going the, the totally recycling route, they wanted to see if there was anybody else out there that could use these pots. So basically, they were almost giving them away, $20 for 2,500 pots to get them out of their way. So I took my Toyota Sequoia out there last night the biggest SUV Toyota makes. I put the seats down and let me show you what it looks like to have 2,500 planting pots. Now my car is not always this messy. I had to move all my stuff up front, but look at this. They are laid down in layers like stacked logs. This is a view from up front. Hold on honey, when you open that, they're probably gonna fall out. Let me get back there. Let me see if I can open this without you look at that, they're all the way down in there, stacked up to the ceiling. And then she's getting ready to open the back. It is. Look at that. There you go, Vanna White showing the... So many. So now comes the joy of unloading these things and putting them away. Now comes the fun part. I'm gonna unload them, pile them up so you can get a good view of how many 2,500 pots looks like. We got the, uh, the 
trays too. I actually had to leave some of those behind. Honey, come a little closer and give them a view here. I mean, this is just insane. They're gonna take the trays I didn't take to the uh, recycling center. But guys, this is just the whole freaking SUV is piled up with these 2.6 liter pots. They're, they're a little bit bigger than half a gallon, but not quite a gallon. But they'll be sufficient for a couple of years with these seedlings and saplings and cuttings. Twenty dollars. Okay, so it's just proof that doing these projects doesn't have to be expensive. You don't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars. I went on Amazon before we started this video to see how much these would cost. And I was finding them in like 50 packs. 50 packs for $30. So that's like a, I don't know, what was that? Like a dollar and 12 and a half cents, something like that. Dollar and 12 and a half cents for one of these when I got it for eight tenths of a penny. So, whew, all right. Time to take a break already and get some work done. So guys, this is what 2,500 plastic potting pots look like. 2.6 liters. And there's Vanna White showing them off. So I'm gonna give you a close up here. Yeah, it's a good job, honey. 2,500 potting pots for $20. That's 0.8 pennies each eight tenths of one cent each buy these suckers on amazon they're about a dollar and twelve and a half cents each but again we bought them off of a wonderful vegetable gardener named caleb and his wife who bought a, a greenhouse these came with it but they didn't need them so a couple things to point out to you here and caleb mentioned this to me there were actually twice as many pots as this when they got their greenhouse but the people that had them left them out in the direct sunlight uh, for too long. And so when you touched them, they just fall apart. So when you're storing your pots, don't leave them in direct sunlight. And secondly, uh, Caleb had these outside waiting to get rid of them. And there was some moisture trapped inside. So we're actually, as painstakingly long as it might take, we're actually going to separate these and get the moisture out of them. So that when we do store them, we don't have problems with mosquitoes and other insects. So, but that's it. So guys, just be patient, be diligent, look for good deals out there. Remember to check Craigslist because that's where we got these. If you enjoyed this video, and there's Miss Cleopatra in the parting shot, the star of most of our videos. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel, Homesteading Off the Grid. And we will see you next time with more wonderful homesteading ideas.